there. Greetings. Welcome to another podcast full of today's nonsensical news. Yes, I'm Andy Parks, and I'll begin right after this. You know, as a listener to my podcast, you qualify to receive a 50% discount on an annual digital subscription to the Washington Times. Simply go to WashingtonTimes.com slash Andy. That's WashingtonTimes.com slash A-N-D-Y. All right, let's see. Um, <laughs> where do we start? Got anything from, uh, and anything on COVID? No? Nothing new? Nothing from the Center for Disease Confusion? Ah, okay, nothing from the CDC. All right, uh, where do we start then? Ah, it's race day in America. It's race day in America. You know, that was once a slogan for auto racing. Now it's about race relations. Sadly, the Democrats beat this into the ground every single day. It's funny, though. Nancy Pelosi and Joe Biden have a combined, what, 150 years in the House and the Senate? Well, it seems that way. So one might wonder, why haven't they fixed the problems in the past? Well, because they'd have too little to talk about. You see, the Democrats love to use and abuse the black population in this country for one thing, votes. And once they get the vote, they don't care what happens to the black population. They'll just make promises again in a couple of years or four years. Yeah, Joe Biden has learned all you have to do is just stir up the crowd. And we won't ignore what our intelligence agencies have determined to be the most lethal terrorist threat to the homeland today. Yeah. White supremacy is terrorist. We're not going to ignore that either. Oh, my, my fellow God. Americans, look, we have to come together to heal the soul of this nation. Please. <laughs> Please. What a joke. <laughs> yeah, 50 years in politics, and now he's going to fix the race problem in America. How, Joe? Like he did in 1977, fighting segregation in schools and claiming, quote, allowing blacks to integrate would create a racial jungle. You remember saying that, Joe? You did. We have it on tape. Or how about 94, when you wrote the Stop and Frisk Law, which happens to be what blacks blame for systemic racism today? And let's not forget Joe referring to Barack Obama as a, quote, the first articulate and clean mainstream African American. And the list of his racist comments continue to this day. And now he says he can fix it. (laughs) God help us all. Meanwhile, space cadet Kamala Harris only wants to fix it in one way. Don't punish blacks for crimes they commit and take the thugs that have done nothing to help society by presenting them to young Americans as heroes. Why not to fund the police along the way? Close the prisons. What a plan. (laughs) What a plan. Oh, and speaking of Harris, she is the border czar, if you will, as appointed by Joe Biden. And her staff is not happy about it. Seems she has done absolutely nothing to help the situation in two and a half months since she assumed the position. Hmm. Oh, and still no visit to the border. How's that border crisis working out, huh? And speaking of the vice president, stepping in it, did you catch her Memorial Day tweet to the nation? Yes, it featured a photo of her smiling and looking skyward and telling everyone to enjoy the long weekend. Of course, she made no mention of those who made the ultimate sacrifice so she could enjoy her long weekend. Hmm. She and creepy, sleepy Joe had to make amends after they were bombarded by everyday Americans for not mentioning the fallen. I had mentioned the border earlier, and it seems that DHS chief Alejandro Mayorkas, after saying the border was closed last week, is now looking at letting some of the garbage of all garbage enter the country by allowing them to not answer questions regarding gang-related activity. What are these people doing? They're supposed to work for us. Remember? They're incompetent. Are illegal votes that important to Democrats that they're willing to risk innocent American lives? I guess so. There's no other reason for letting this pond scum into the U.S. than to harvest the illegal votes for Democrats. You know, it's funny, just last week a liberal told me we must have open borders. Why? Oh, because they'll take the jobs Americans won't take. Mm Mm-hmm, I see. You know, there was a time that that wasn't a problem. Young people looking for a first job or to learn a trade used to perform these jobs. 
those jobs that no one wanted. I know. I had about three of those jobs. One included driving stinking garbage to the dump on a regular basis. Today, that is so far beneath the liberal left and the young people in general, they won't even get up and leave their video games in mom's basement. So bring in thugs to work those jobs. Right, Alejandro? Well, what else is in the news? The Russian hackers are at it again. Yep, the same computer geeks and thieves that hit the colonial pipeline have now hit the meatpacking industry. The JBS facilities supply the U.S. with about 25% of all beef. So far, the pork facilities haven't been affected. Enjoy that 4th of July picnic that Joe Biden promised. Without hamburgers this year. Did we not think these people would try it again? Remember, Colonial Pipeline paid the $5 million ransom. One other thing, how much does Vladimir Putin know about this? He's a thug, and he needs to be taken down a notch. He's been nothing but a pain in the butt of America for way too long. And you know something else that's funny? When Trump was in office, things were a bit quieter on the international front. It seems Biden doesn't exactly exude strength or confidence in taking on these challenges. By the way, did you see where Biden wants to help the Palestinians with cash while they're stomping on the American flag in the streets? Real smart, Joe. Real smart. It was another brutal week for shootings in America. Look no further than Houston, Baltimore, Chicago, New Orleans, New York, L.A., and Miami where a rap concert was just getting fired up at about 12.30 in the morning, three gunmen opened fire on the crowd, killing two and injuring 20. Some patrons at the event returned gunfire with illegal handguns. In fact, the overwhelming majority of weapons used this week were obtained illegally. Yet right away, the left called for tighter gun control measures, because surely it's the gun's fault. It can't be the person firing the weapon. Unless, of course, it's a white cop killing black thugs. Then it's the cop's fault and not the gun. You know, it's like saying the car caused the accident, not the person behind the wheel. And just think, things will get much better when we defund the police. This just in, former MSDNC host and sexual harassment expert Chris Matthews said that Republicans who support former President Trump do not understand democracy. God, that is priceless coming from him. This loser lecturing us on democracy. The left hates democracies. Socialism is their preferred way of life. Ask your buddy Bernie Sanders, Chris. (sighs) And finally today, from the dumbest of the dumb, comes Hollywood actor, former candidate for governor of New York, and activist Cynthia Nixon. It seems Cynthia is upset that people are being locked up for shoplifting. Yep. Just when you think Hollywood stars can't get any dumber, I assure you, they can. It seems Miss Nixon was upset that CVS decided to close 17 stores in San Francisco alone. Why? Because they're getting robbed every day. Yep, she said, quote, As so many families can't make ends meet right now, I can't imagine thinking the way to solve the problem of people stealing basic necessities out of desperation is to prosecute them. (laughs) earth to cynthia businesses do not open every day to get robbed every day pretty simple and by the way if you're that concerned leave the doors open when you exit your 3.2 million dollar manhattan condo when you go to your million dollar an episode reboot of hbo's sex in the city and let anyone come in and take what they want while you're gone Make sure the refrigerator is full and the bar is stocked. And the service elevator should be available for those who want to steal your furniture. Problem solved. Ah, Cynthia Nixon. Another product of a liberal education. Thanks for joining me today. And remember to receive a 50% discount on an annual digital subscription to the Washington Times. Go to WashingtonTimes.com slash Andy. You'll get 24-7 digital access to the Washington Times at 50% off. Go to WashingtonTimes.com slash A-N-D-Y for more information. I'm Andy Parks. Have a great day.